Yay! You want to make your first augmented reality app. In this video, we're going to go through the basics of how to install Unity, the app that basically allows us to deploy into augmented reality. We're going to learn how to install Xcode, the app that converts Unity apps into iPhone apps. We're also going to learn how to install Visual Studio Code, which is basically a text editor that makes coding in Unity much easier, easy, and Blender, the open source software for 3D modeling. All of these are free, so you need not pay a dime. And of course, please help the YouTube algorithm by liking and especially by commenting. And if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button so that you know you can stay on top of other cool things I want to share, such as video tutorials like this one. Thanks, and let's play. In order to avoid headaches in the future because one component in our game development pipeline isn't compatible with another, we have to solve any of these issues at the outset. So to make our augmented reality app a smooth process, we need to ensure that our iPhone operating system, computer operating system, Unity and Xcode versions are within each other's compatibility windows. The first minimum requirement we have to meet is our iPhones or our iPads operating system. We can quite easily head to the Xcode wiki page, scroll down to the bottom where it says version comparison table, and here we can find the Xcode version that matches both our iPhones and our Mac's operating system. Because I'm afraid to update frequently, my iPhone's operating system version is like 14.2, and because I just upgraded to macOS Catalina from Sierra, my macOS version is 10.15. This means that I can download any Xcode version between 12.1.1 and 12.4. For this tutorial series, I downloaded Xcode 12.4 because it was the newest possible Xcode version I could get before being forced to update my computer's operating system again. Apple doesn't make it obvious on how to download older Xcode versions, so my favorite method is by going to xcodereleases.com, finding the Xcode version we want and hitting the download button. This will take a while, these are big files. Next, we want to install Unity. And the best way to do that is to Google search download Unity. <laughs> Click the link for the Unity website and download Unity Hub. Unity Hub is a little manager that will allow you to download different versions of Unity within a single place. For this tutorial, I downloaded version 2021.1.17. So if you want to stay consistent with a tutorial, you can download that one or download a new one from 2021. Unity is pretty good about keeping functionality with older operating systems. For example, any 2021.1 Unity version will work with High Sierra or beyond. If you can't find a specific version of Unity that you want, you can navigate to the website with other versions by clicking the link within the Unity Hub's install page. To streamline the coding process, it's nice to have Visual Studio installed. So to do that, we can Google Visual Studio for Mac, follow the links from the Microsoft website, and hit that download button. If we want a step-by-step, -step, we can just Google that too, but the process is quite simple. We will go over in one of the videos how to ensure that when we use Unity, we can actually end up launching Visual Studio instead of a typical text or code editor. Finally, Blender. Any version of Blender really works because all we will be doing is exporting .fbx files. However, if you want the latest and greatest, you can just go to the Blender website and download the latest version. Make sure to check though whether the latest version is compatible with your operating system because if you have older operating systems, you might have a problem. For this tutorial, because I wanted to use a screen casting add-on for Blender, which basically allows you to see on the screen which keyboard buttons I press, I downloaded a slightly older version of Blender. To download a specific version of Blender, like the old one that I downloaded, all you have to do is navigate to the previous versions tab and click on the All Releases link to see a large list of Blender links. For this tutorial, I use Blender 2.92. One thing to note, when you first launch Blender, it will ask you if you want to have selection be a right click or a left click. Personally, I like selections to be with a right click, although a little weird it is at first. So, if you miss this screen, you can change the setting to match mine by going to Edit, Preferences, Key Map, and selecting from the drop-down Blender 2.7 or just by clicking on the right-click option. Well, that's that. We now have all the programs that we need to get started on this journey. The best part is that because we figured out what was compatible with what, we are more likely to not have to worry about having our flow disrupted in the future. All right. Woohoo!
We have all the programs that we need in order to start this journey. Because we took care of all compatibility issues, or so we think, ahead of time, now when we're working on the game, we won't get disrupted. Our flow will stay smooth and we will stay on task. Now we can think about the design. And of course, if you like what you see, hit that like button and especially comment to help that YouTube algorithm help other people get this video in the future. And if you really, really like what you see, just generally hit the subscribe button to see more things like this uh, and other cool stuff that I want to share. So, see you in the next one.